Yalon, a thriving town of 4,000 people in the Latrobe Valley of Gippsland. Its powerhouse is the keystone of Victoria's light and power supply. This power comes from brown coal, won from an open cut like a vast quarry, in a deposit estimated to contain six billion tons of coal. When the overburden or top layer of earth is stripped off by this dredger, there is a solid bed of brown coal 200 feet deep. Soft coal containing two thirds water. Young coal, which has not yet lost the characteristics of the forests from which it was formed millions of years ago. Over five million tons are won every year by entirely mechanical means. Coal is excavated by two big dredgers, each with a downward reach of 90 feet. Endless ladders of buckets scrape up the coal and deliver a thousand tons an hour to a constant succession of electric trains. The trains run to the powerhouse, where the brown coal is burnt in its raw, moist state in special furnaces. Ten big generators in the turbine room develop over a quarter of a million horsepower. Yalon Powerhouse produces more than two-thirds of all the electricity used in the state of Victoria. Voltage is stepped up in this switchyard for transmission over high-tension lines to Melbourne, 90 miles away. Brown coal from the open cut is also processed into briquettes, a high-grade industrial and domestic fuel. The raw coal is delivered to belt conveyors that carry it to the factory where the process consists of crushing, screening, drying and pressing the coal into neatly moulded blocks of compressed fuel with treble the heat value of the original raw brown coal. The briquette factory works round the clock seven days a week, producing half a million tonnes of briquettes a year. Domestic firesides haven't seen them in recent years because all the output is needed now as fuel for essential industries. Power and fuel from brown coal. Yes, your lawn is really a great Australian achievement.